Happy Pentecost! <laughs> Hallelujah! Today is uh, Pentecost Sunday. In the Gospel today, uh, the Lord breathed, breathed upon the apostles. Hallelujah! Um, and what did the, what did Jesus breathe upon them? The Holy Spirit. I'm reminded of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were called the um, image and likeness of God. How is that? Well, because God breathed the Holy Spirit upon Adam and Eve. No, He did not just breathe oxygen upon them. Kasi if it is only oxygen, then they will be just like the animals who receive oxygen. No, God breathed the Holy Spirit upon them and that made them image and likeness. Hallelujah. Uh, fast forward natin. St. Paul is saying, uh, you can only cry out, Abba, Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we become real sons and daughters of God. So, are we more than just Adam and Eve? I, I think so. <laughs> because Adam and Eve was just image and likeness. But uh, remember, that image and likeness simply means that Adam and Eve was holy. And that is the reason they had a full life. You know, no, they did not have a full life because they have the mountains, the trees, the animals, the birds, the sea, the fish. No, that's that what made them full. You know, just like today, some people believe that what will make them full is, hallelujah, is money, material, their ambitions, their plans. Hallelujah. No, those are not wrong things, but hey, that will not give us fullness in life. <laughs> Hallelujah. In your life and in my life, what really, what, what, uh, fullness began in your life and in my life when the Lord was being, is able to reveal Himself to you. And how is God able to reveal Himself to you and to me? Through the power of the Holy Spirit that is in you and in me. All right. Well, let's get back to Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve had a full knife because they were holy. Hallelujah. No? Simply, simply lang po. Saan galing ang fullness in life? And it's a holiness. Hallelujah. Diba when we go to heaven, and, uh, hallelujah. You know, when you and I go to heaven, that is the fullness of salvation. Which simply means that, what does fullness of salvation means? Uh, it simply means that we are able to see God face to face and that uh, the holiness, the purity, hallelujah, is uh, accomplished already when you go to heaven. That's why the saints, you know, ha hallelujah, had fullness in life when they died. Don't, don't you notice that we commemorate the days, the feast day of the saints on their death? Um, uh, when when they die on the day that they die, that is when you you have a, that feast day, you know, of all the saints. You know why why because that is the day that is the time that they will go up to into heaven and receive the fullness in life. Hallelujah means what the fullness of their holiness. Um, praise be to God. All right. So what happened to Adam and Eve? Let's go back to Adam and Eve. What happened to the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. And uh, what happens is that they drove away the Holy Spirit when they rejected God. When they disobeyed. Hallelujah. Disobedience cut the, 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 the connection between God and man. Hallelujah. Um, and... This must be clear, you know. You know, I, I had, um, there was a boy who who gave me a question, who posed me a question many, a few years ago. An 11-year-old boy, and he asked me, Brother Jing, does God know everything? And I said, of course. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you know that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, does God know that Adam and Eve will eat the forbidden fruit? You know, I was, 
I held back for a while and said, oh, oh. <laughs> if I said yes, <laughs> he will say, why did he, uh, why did he put up that forbidden tree in the first place? <laughs> if I say no, I, 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 he will say, I, 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 I thought, I thought uh, God knew everything. <laughs> you know? So uh, thank be to God, the Holy Spirit came into my rescue to have saved me. <laughs> you know, I said, you know, uh, the, the love of God is, hallelujah, unconditional. It is unlimited. It just keeps on pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring. That's the love of God. You know, I heard this from uh, Cardinal Tagli one time ago that when the love of God cannot be given to us in its fullness. We receive the love of God in trickles because our heart cannot, cannot uh, hallelujah, uh, does not have the power to contain the love of God. Grabe kasi. So that love is keeps just keeps on pouring. That love created the universe and Adam and Eve. That love keeps on pouring and pouring. But to make that into a... Uh, but for man to experience the fullness of that love, uh, that man must respond. Hallelujah. To complete the circuit of love. You know? uh, and so man must, must respond. And how will Adam and Eve respond? How, the, how will Adam and Eve prove that they love God? There is no sin. There is no temptation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, 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 the, the, everything is uh, praise-filled. It is grace-filled. Oh, uh, how, how, uh, how can they respond to love God? So God, in His love, in God's love, God put that forbidden tree so that uh, if uh, Adam and Eve will avoid that tree, they will obey the command not to eat that tree, then they are able to love God. You know? Hallelujah. If there was no forbidden tree, how will they love God? <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, unfortunately, diba, it was the cause of the rejection. They rejected God. <laughs> Praise be to God. You know, is it important that the man will love God? Yes. Yes, because how will that fullness manifest. That's the reason why He gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Spirit of love. He pours it into our hearts. Then with that Holy Spirit of love, we can love Him back. We can obey. Hallelujah. And then we will be united. We will be connected. We will be one with God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because, ulitin ko, ulitin ko, when that Holy Spirit is in you, you have the power to obey God. Do not forget John 14, 15, when Jesus said, Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me, my commands. You see, how can we obey the commands? How can we obey the gospel if the Holy Spirit is not available to us? You know, just like Adam and Eve, the Holy Spirit was there. They can love God, but the, the, the temptation of the devil was just too tempting. And so what happened? What happened? The boss, uh, the Bible tells us that Adam and Eve was driven away from paradise. Well, I cannot contest that. That is what is written in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis. The, 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 uh, they were driven away. But this was made clear by Jesus. You know, uh, many people don't realize why Jesus came down, why ma God became man. So that, so that uh, Jesus, as man, can explain to us face to face, man to man, by, 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 by the level, by our level, Jesus can speak to us and tell us the real, the real score. That's what he keeps on saying. I came down so that I can tell you what the Father wants to say, uh, what the Father wants to. Hallelujah. Convey. Uh, the other day, the other Sunday, there was that gospel that uh, uh, you are no longer slaves because the slaves do not know the master. They do not know the father. But I, I, know, I, I, I call you friends because I'm telling you what the father wants to say to you. I know. So, okay, okay. Uh, what does the father want to say to us? That, hey, God did not drive away man. The story of the prodigal son is your story and my story. 
We were not driven. God was waiting for us to come back. That's all it takes. You know, God was waiting for us so that God can embrace us. Hallelujah. That's the story. That's the real score. No, no, he did not drive us away. Hallelujah. It is sin that separated us from God like Adam and Eve. You know, and so my, my dear brothers and sisters, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 is clear on this. When St. Paul said, do not drive away the Holy Spirit. Okay, what happened now? What happened when Adam and Eve, hallelujah, you departed, you know, hallelujah. Well, what happened? They put up their own kingdom and it all started with Cain and Abel. Hallelujah. Remember the story of Cain and Abel? What? Nagpatayan na sila. What happened? What happened to man? Bakit nagkagano na? Hallelujah. Nagpatayan na. You know, uh, it all started with sin. As I told you, sin separated us from God. Uh, Cain and Abel. Hallelujah. Story will tell us what kind of... Uh, uh, that, that, that to be controlled by the human nature results in death. To be controlled by the Holy Spirit results in life. Cain and Abel was on their own. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was not there. They have driven away. Adam and Eve driven away the Holy Spirit. And you know the story, di ba? Si Cain na ingit. No? The first sin, I guess, is that envy, you know. And envy... Fa Anger followed envy. And, and, and then murder followed anger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Cover up, lie, yeah, followed that murder. Oh my God. <laughs> and, it all, all, and greed was there. You know, uh, Cain, was, Cain did not give what is due to God. Hallelujah. Cain did not... Has, refused to give much. Hallelujah. That's the reason why, hallelujah, uh, Cain killed Abel out of envy, but particularly more on the start, the start of greed. You know? So, uh, let me just emphasize that, uh, why, why were they doing that? Why, why was that happening to Cain and Abel? Uh, because they were controlled by the human nature. They are no longer controlled by the Holy Spirit. And then what happened? Did God, did God punish Cain and Abel? Did God punish what Cain and Abel established? Why? What did, what did Cain and Abel establish? The world. The world. In Tagalog, makamundo. Worldly. You know? Uh, in our uh, Growing the Spirit seminar, there is a definition of world. A system of relationship, ideas, and values opposed to God. You see, this world, ulitin ko, a system of relationship, ideas, and values separated from God. No? Hallelujah. In fact, not only separated, but opposed to God. And that is the danger now of the world. Saint, uh, Saint Pra, Saint Pope Francis has been saying that the greatest sin now on earth is indifference. Now, what is indifference? You don't care. Man does not care. Now, they don't care whether it is good or bad for as long as it is fun. Hallelujah. The only question that needs to be answered now is: Masaya bayan, masarap bayan. No, they don't. They don't uh, distinguish anymore. Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it good? Is it bad? Hindi na, hindi na. You know, ang pinag-uusapan ngayon what is uh, hallelujah acceptable to who, to to human to man. Hallelujah. And what do you call that sin? Indifference. Hallelujah. Okay lang. Patayan. Okay lang yan. 
murahan, okay lang. Hallelujah. Ano? Ano ba masama doon? Everybody's doing it anyway. Ganyan ba? Indifferent. Sabi ni, sabi ni uh, uh, Pope Francis, is a, great, is a big, big manifestation that the Holy Spirit is no longer in, in, in the human person. Because if the Holy Spirit is in you, indifference will not work. You will care. You will care of what is holy. And if you do not care what is holy, if your only lakad is that nagbago ka na, hindi ka na pumapatay, hindi ka na nang re-rape, hindi ka na nagnanakaw, hindi ka na ganito, hindi ka na wala ka ng bisyo, okay na, di ba? Yun lang ang concern mo. You're not concerned about what is holy. Then, Clearly, the Holy Spirit is not there. Because the, uh, the, remember, what the Holy Spirit can do to you and me is to make us real sons and daughters, which means what? Which means what? Holiness. If holiness does not matter, that's indifference. Hallelujah. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, uh, thing, uh, did God punish man? No. He sent the he sent the prophets. And one of the prophets that were uh, pertinent to the Holy Spirit or Pentecost is the uh, prophecy of the coming of the Holy Spirit found in Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 30. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 30 is about 7 or 800 years BC before Christ. And what was the promise there? I will pour out my spirit upon mankind. Hallelujah. Now, and they will speak in tongues. This is prophesied. Seven, eight hundred years before Christ. Now, now, some of you are in uh, AD 2021. AD, that must be about 3,000 years now from now, from me, today. 3,000 years ago, there was a prophecy in the book of Joel that the Holy Spirit will be poured out into mankind. No, 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 there was no condemnation, di ba? Binidinan ni Lord nung mga nakarang araw yun eh. I did not come to condemn. Hallelujah, praise be to God. And so, uh, how, how, how did, when did this, did the Holy Spirit came? This promised Holy Spirit in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 30 when did it came when did the lord uh, fulfill that promise when well when he died on the cross diba that's on the so when he died on the cross the seventh and last words were sabi ni lord father unto thy hands i commend my spirit the price he had to pay was his life so that we can receive that Holy Spirit, that fullness in life. Come to think of it, di ba? Ikaw na nag-LSS, ikaw na charismatic, ikaw na nakakaranas ng pagbabagong buhay. Nakakaranas na gumaganda ang pamilya mo, gumaganda ang buhay mo, gumaganda kinabukasan mo, gumaganda lahat ng bagay. Kahit na in the midst of all the problems in your life, the problems con even contribute sa pagpapaganda ng buhay mo. Yun ang Holy Spirit eh. Ah, kalungkot nga lang kung hindi tayo interesado sa holiness of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ano kung ano na isip mo? Yun ang tama eh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kung ano maisip mo, yun ang tama. Praise be to God. Ano, I, I know of some people who intellectualize the gospel and say, hindi, ganito yan eh. Alam mo, ganito yan. Ganito yan. Ganito yan. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Huwag na huwag mong kakalimutan. Hindi pwedeng uh, gamitan ng katwiran ito. Hindi pwedeng gamitan ito ng, hallelujah, intellectualizing. <laughs> hallelujah. Para simpleng simple lang po yan. Eh. Love your enemies. Are you interested in that? Do you understand that? I don't. I don't. How can I understand love your enemies? But, but, 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of God, you know, if I decide to obey that word, that command, hallelujah, God will make me able to forgive my enemies. <laughs> Ano lang yan eh, di ba? Eh, gamitan mo ng kotwiran, gamitan mo ng damdamin. Hallelujah! And sabihin mo, ganito tama, hindi yan tama. Ito, ma ito mali, ito tama. <laughs> ikaw magsa, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw ang mag, uh, mag ikaw ang mag rationalize kung ano tama at mali. Hallelujah. Don't base your uh, thinking uh, on the gospel. Sa politiko, sa business. Alisin mo yung gospel. Alisin mo yung gospel sa politiko. Alisin mo yung gospel sa business mo. Alisin mo yung gospel sa pagpapatakbo mo ng pamilya mo. Kasi galit ka. Kailangan ikaw masunod. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Simpleng-simple lang yan. Eh. Tinanggal mo yung buhay. Ba't ka nasasabing tinanggal mo ang buhay? Romans 8.6 is clear. To be controlled by the Holy Spirit. To be controlled by the human nature results in death. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Discardihan mo yung buhay mo on your own. Results in death. No, God will not be angry with you. No, you will not be punished. But you will be on your own. Hallelujah. Ano ibinubunga ng buhay mo pagka you are on your own? Eh di ang daming wow, ang daming resentments, ang daming irritations, ang daming hallelujah, samaan ng loob. Simpleng simple lang. Because God was not in control. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, after when Jesus gave His life, so that we can receive the Holy Spirit. What happened next? <laughs> and, uh, he made a promise to the apostles. When he was resurrected, Ascension Sunday, last Sunday, when he resurrected, hallelujah, he made a promise to the apostles. Wait for me. Count 50 days. I will come back. <clears throat> and what is that? Pentecost. The day that we're celebrating now. Hallelujah. Pentecost. <laughs> Praise be to God. When Pentecost came, what happened to the apostles? Conversions, diba? Hallelujah. The apostles was a ragtag team. Hallelujah. Paano yung mga walang sinabi? Walang Walang bahid ng kabanalan ka makikita. <laughs> Hallelujah. But when they received the Holy Spirit on that Pentecost Sunday, Pentecost Day, now mind you, Pentecost Sunday is the birthday of the church. The Catholic Church was established on that Pentecost Day when Peter, as the head, as the first bishop, first pope, Hallelujah. Peter. No? Si Peter na palpak. Naglakad sa tubig, lubog. <laughs> si Peter, nasabi niya, sabi niya kay Lord, nung, uh, nung sinabi ni Lord, ipapako ako sa krus. <laughs> nasabi ni Peter, No, Lord, over my dead body. And then uh, Jesus tells him, Get me behind me, Satan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to God. <laughs> You know, uh, bakit? Ano nangyari? Bakit nung nag after Pentecost, eh, naging bold na sila. Nag-preach na sila. Wala na silang takot. Pinoproclaim na nila yung gospel ni Lord. Bakit? Bakit wala na sila? Bakit? Uh, ang lalakas na nung loob nila. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, the gifts of the Holy Spirit started to be activated, manifesting in the 12 apostles. No, nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Meron ka niyan, meron ako niyan. Kung binyagan ka, meron ako niyan, meron ikaw niyan. Nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Miracles, discernment, interpretation, prophecy, and tongues. Nine gifts. I cannot discuss each of them. It's one of them now, but hallelujah. This nine gifts is the power that Jesus 
was exercising during his earthly ministry for three years. Ano niya? Kaya uh, ulitin ko, meron ka nito, meron ako nito eh. The apostles, kaya nagkaroon ng pagkakaiba, ng, ng boldness because uh, ulitin ko, the nine gifts are the power of Jesus manifesting now in the apostles. Ano? Uh, in John chapter uh, 20, uh, um, uh, what was that? <laughs> I forgot already. But in John chapter 20 uh, forward, uh, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, even greater things than I have done, you can do. He said that to Peter. Siguro, siguro takang-taka si Peter. Ano ba? Niloloko mo ba ako? Ano? Bakit niya? Bakit, sa, bakit niya iisipin yun? Bakit takang-taka si Peter? Eh, Diyos ko, naglakad ka nga siya sa tubig, lubog eh. Tinawag nga siyang satanas eh. Tapos ngayon, hallelujah, tinawag pa siyang Peter. Eh, dati, di ba, Simon? Tapos ginawang Peter. Eh, Peter means rock. Peter means matigas. Peter means matapang eh. <laughs> Biglang, eh, ikaw, Simon, Peter ka na ngayon. Ha? Habi siguro ni Peter, ni, ni Simon, niloloko ba ako nito? Tapos, lalo na, nung sinabi ni Lord sa kanya, you know, Peter, greater things than I have done, you can do. Higit pa sa nagagawa ko, magagawa mo. Nagkatotoo ba yon? Opo. Mas maraming patay na binuhay si Peter. Pero ano, mas magaling nga ba si Peter? Hindi po. Eh ano nangyari kay Peter? Si Kristo ay nakay na Peter. Si Kristo, ang kanyang kapangyarihan, ang kanyang kabanalan, na kay Pedro, gumagalaw. Hallelujah. Mark his words. Let us mark the words of God. Even greater things than I have done, you can do. Siguro ang ibig lang niya sabihin, greater things than you think I can do. Mas higit pa dyan magagawa mo. Kung pakikilusin mo si Kristo sa'yo. Ulitin ko, ulitin ko. Ang sinasabi lang po ni Kristo eh, yung alam mo na kaya kong gawin, higit pa dun magagawa mo. How will that happen? pakilusin mo si Kristo sa buhay mo. So let us not dwell so much on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, ministry, uh, uh, miracle, discernment, interpretation, prophecy, and tongues. Bakit, bakit ko po minasabing huwag tayo mag-dwell on that? Eh kasi hindi naman yan magpapadala sa atin sa langit. Sabi nga ni Lord, there will be a time that oh, not all those who call me Lord, Lord shall enter my kingdom. Sabi, sabi ng isang mama, sabi ng isang mama, Lord, did I not cast out demons in your name? Sabi naman ni Lord, I do not know you. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 10 verse 20, He said, do not rejoice that you cast out demons in my name. Rejoice that your names will be written in heaven. Simply put, St. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. If you desire for the gifts, make sure that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is your goal. And what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Nine fruit. There are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. There are nine fruit of the Holy Spirit found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. What are these nine gifts? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, humility, self-control. Hallelujah. If you will notice in that passage, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Wala siyang S. Hindi siya plural. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Siyam, pero hindi plural. Bakit? Bakit walang S? Because it is one character of Jesus. If you're enjoying the Holy Spirit, then you must be enjoying that character. Uulitin ko, and this is where I want to end. 
This is what the gospel is talking about. To imitate Christ. To become like Christ. Anak ng Diyos. Pag ano, pag gumagana yung nine fruit. Huwag mo sukatin pag gumagana yung healing, gumagana yung miracles, gumagana yung wisdom, gumagana yung prayer leader, gumagana yan. Huwag mo sukatin. Sabi nga ni Lord, not all those who call me Lord, Lord. Saan mo susukatin? Hallelujah. Sabi ni Lord, those who obey me, I and my Father will dwell in them. Intimacy will manifest. Intimacy will happen. When you put the gospel into your life, holiness will manifest in your life. Ulitin ko, what are these nine fruit of the Holy Spirit that is the best gift that we can ever have in life? Nine fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, humility, self-control. Hallelujah. God bless po. The Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Happy Pentecost, everybody.